key of imagination. Hello, this is Brian, also known as Deathstruck. Today I'll be showing you how to con convert a table from 4.3 mode to 16.9 mode. This is Tab's Lucky 7. He's been working on it for a few days now. He needs a few more plastics there, like in these corners. But other than that, it's pretty much set for 4.3 release already. It's got his displays all in, and code is basically done for it. So we're going to first uh, quit out of that, and then going to eliminate the um, highest wall here that isn't going to be necessary. It's at 180. We're going to be changing it for 16.9 for a cabinet, so that wall will mess, mess it up later. And then you'll notice here that it's at 952 table width. We need all these playfield objects highlighted and moved over to the right. Because of the number of objects on this table, I've gone ahead and done that on a second copy over here. So we've got that. It's all moved over. And then because this will be in a cabinet, we don't need the rails or the lockdown bar either. I'm going to go ahead and delete all that stuff. That's on wall three. There. There's one more at the top in the back. I like to remove any uh, unused images too. That's not going to be used. And the real left and real right. Don't need those. Keeps the file size smaller. Next, we're looking for any kind of full table playfield images. Scan of playfield's not going to be used. Play F, play FL. Two. Okay, so just two. Highlight those and export them. Next here, if you're using a pinball wizard, you're going to want the plunger box checked for that, and um, 40 to match the release speed right there. Also, we're going to need a blocking wall, just be more like the real thing. That will pre prevent the ball from rolling around when the plunger is pulled back. Cover the whole lane there. Any kickers on the play field, you want those to be kick kicker invisible just so that they don't render trouble later. Looks like those are the only two. As far as flippers go, these are just uh, my own sayings that, that I prefer. degree arc. good. Now for our image here, for the play field, go over to Photo Paint, open up those two images we saved, and we're going to double size these as well. So push it to the right, 046. those back up again there then we can re-import them so yeah. and play L after that double with the play field that'll be 1904 and there awesome it shows up now, 
the left side here, the entire left side will be your back glass. The entire right side will be your play field. Now, for the back here, I'm going to temporarily turn that stuff off. I'm going to go back and rename the table, because every time you render a table, visual pin name is not unloaded till visual pinball is closed out. So by renaming the table, we're preventing visual pin name from running right there very quick and very simply. Angle of inclination, I'll set those to 450 just like all the others. I turned off EM reels and deep decals for now because I don't want to see them while I'm just uh, sizing it. So by default here, I normally begin with 800 and negative 800 for the offsets. And rotation is going to be 270. Go ahead and render the thing and let's see how this looks. Pretty good there. Not quite centered. Scaling probably 1.4 and 2.4 to start with. Make it a little bigger. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's not quite right. In order to see us better, I'm going to change the background to red. That way I, I can see just how much border there is. That's no good. This will be a bunch of trial and error because all these tables are going to be diff different uh, settings there for it. Because they, they all have different height, different width, and different depth. Uh, that's a little bit closer. Mm. I'll bump that up to 1.44 and 2.6. Now we're getting somewhere. It's closer on the edge. The more things that you can remember to change at one time, the less uh, rendering time you'll be using up. So if you can change like two fields and remember what what you're changing, that helps a lot. And go on one there. Nine sixteen, try that one. Uh, that looks good enough for me.